Hello, I'm Tobias Kleyer from the Technology Management. The following video shows how a coating material is applied to a fastener, so it gets a defined coefficient of friction. Dirk and MKS develops new and innovative solutions. The coating line shown here is of compact design and is suitable for the fully automatic coating of such fasteners, or bulk parts in general. For the automated process, the delivered components have to be coatable so that the components are free of hardening residues, oil, rust and other surface impurities. The following coating and drying processes are almost identical for base coat and top coat. Especially the coating of small parts with complex geometry represents a challenge. Such an example is a bolt with an internal drive. For a coating process which is reliable and scalable, automated centrifuges are used. By filling a defined amount of parts into the basket, high process stability is guaranteed. Once the centrifuge basket is filled, the next stage of the process starts. For an automated handling, robots are used in the coating line. The robot replaces the untreated material with the fresh coated components. The basket is inserted into the centrifuge and located in position. Then a tank containing the coating material is lifted from below so that the components are completely immersed. Similar to a washing machine, the centrifuge sets the bulk material in motion. By that, the coating material reaches the surface of all parts. The basket is then tilted and turned outside of the coating material and followed by a rapid rotation, any surplus material is removed and collected in the surrounding container. Finally, the basket and container are returned to their starting position. The freshly coated components are now ready for the next part of the process. They are first evenly transferred to a tray plate. A light vibration guarantees optimal distribution of the fasteners over the entire tray plate. This distribution is important for a uniform drying process because now the components will be transferred to the oven. For drying or curing, each coating material requires a specified temperature and time in the oven. Directly from the oven, the components are transferred to the cooling section above to be cooled in a controlled process. The exact type and number of coating and drying processes needed always depends on the quality specifications from the customer. After this, the coating process is now complete. Depending on the component's geometry and coating material, the precise process parameters are individually specified. Controls during all phases of the process ensure consistent quality. For more information, visit our website or just give us a call. Thank you.